Hey guys, coming from future me editing this video, it's May 4th right now and I felt like I needed to disclaim that the video you're about to watch is a bunch of vlogs I've done throughout quarantine literally since like end of March and they're all vlogs that I never really finished so I decided just to put all these clips together so if stuff like just kind of ends off or doesn't really make sense that's why um but I thought there was still some like at least interesting stuff to watch I don't know literally still haven't been doing much in my sweat no makeup again just trying to like work on videos for you guys um I have some more like makeup videos and hauls coming very soon and I'm gonna try and do more like full vlogs but the vlogs have just been hard because every day it's not that interesting so I hope you guys enjoy this just know it's a bunch of random ass footage that I put together for you guys because I didn't want to throw it away so I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys really soon <music> Beer zin. We walk. Twink. <laughs> Hey guys, I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I literally have been just like chilling and painting all day. I think I filmed like some clips of me painting. I've been painting a lot actually, I'll show you. I'm painting this table right now because I was doing like a bunch of work on this table. And then I thought, why not paint the top of it? Because we've literally had this table since I was a little girl. It's like just one of those fold out ones. And I'm just painting it for fun. I think I'm gonna like write some like quotes on here and stuff to like help me motivate work because it's just a good spot to like set up my laptop here and sit in this chair and kind of feel like I'm at a workspace so that's been going on I have this acrylic tray that I used in my condo but now it's just been like sitting in my closet because it's so big so I decided to make it like my painting station because normally I use like paper plates but I thought it'd be kind of cool to like have all my paints on here and over like time it will build up with so much color and just like crafty I don't know I'm kind of into that I think it's fun um and yeah kitty's over here i don't think i've really talked about kitty yet besides the q a we filmed so she's been sleeping she's still really tired and just like drowsy from getting spayed so i was feeding her in bed because she has this medicine she has to take but she's doing good so her name is olive kyle and i filmed a q and a yesterday so that will be on my channel soon and we like introduce the kitty and talk about her and answer a bunch of your like relationship questions which actually I think that video will be up before so you guys can click up at the top and watch that I just decided I'm gonna get that one up before this vlog I just showered washed off my tan it hasn't been the full eight hours but I just like needed to get out of it that's why I normally can't do them during the day because I just get so anxious of like trying to go shower um, so yeah, I got these sweatpants on. These are from Pretty Little Thing. I always get them in a size 4 because they're nice and big. And this little top I think is from Nordstrom like years ago. So it's all the way at the bottom of the normal too. Hey pretty girl. You're a 
pretty girl. Is your love is good, and you don't do it. Hey, turn that lamp on. Do, 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 do. Good morning. It's kind of afternoon, but I feel like I'm just like starting to get my day together. So I thought I would vlog for you guys. I just took off the Indian Aztec clay healing mask and I did it with the apple cider vinegar this time. So my face is like looking kind of red and like irritated, but the mask is supposed to do that. So don't mind that. I need to put like my full skincare on. I literally just washed it off. I just showered have just like a t-shirt on and biker shorts just like chilling i actually have a lot i have to do today and i'm trying to like get everything in order today because honestly like the fat past few days <clears throat> i've just been eating like so much sugar so much junk food i haven't like with the kitty taking care of olive back there just like so much different stuff going on and i feel like my life has been a little bit out of order kyle has been here and now i am finally alone and okay after re-watching this portion of the vlog i feel like i want to come on here and explain it a little bit better because i feel like this is a very relatable issue um that not many people talk about but it's a real thing and you might not even notice it but after i kind of say this you might think that makes so much sense um Basically, it's just when you have all these responsibilities and tasks in your normal routine and your normal things that keep you on your grind, if that makes sense, and when other people or things come into the picture that obviously can throw it off because you're compromising or spending time with them or helping them out with something, whatever it is. Um, so this whole week, Kyle was spending his time with me, and of course, I love him to death. I want to be with him all the time, but it does throw off my normal schedule when I'm used to being alone for a week, doing my routine. Um, plus, we adopted Olive that Monday, so obviously that was a huge responsibility that I had to fit into my routine now that, now that I never had to think about before so I feel like this is a very relatable topic that um, it's not always just you yourself and I and all the time in the world to figure out that routine and set goals and rituals for yourself because there's all these other added external parts like significant others best friends um, new pets family members there's all these other things that you probably have to take care of to a certain capacity or improvise with um, so after this week I was feeling very defeated and just like my my own personal goals um, because I love spending time with Kyle and we do our own thing together and it's very different than what I do by myself um, as well as Olive for obvious reasons so I just want to like explain that let me know if this is very relatable for you because it is for me and sometimes it makes me feel a little defeated and it makes me get thrown off so often especially with traveling back and forth with my boyfriend it's like probably what makes it even harder um we're not under the same roof to really establish like that routine as one so yeah let me know if you guys can relate to that to any capacity i'm sure there's so many other scenarios uh i don't even know like what you would really call it but i hope you guys are understanding where i'm coming from and i always like to throw these things in there because i want my vlogs to be more than just like surface level topics i like to kind of explain why I feel certain ways and how it's normal and I like to feel like you guys can relate to me on another level so yeah I need to stop rambling I'm alone in quarantine so this is what happens to me while I'm editing myself okay bye I'm going to just try and get everything like on track and yeah so I just made food I feel like I was just rambling for so long where's kitty she's still like adjusting to everything I'm feeding her in bed because she has this medicine she has to eat and she doesn't like to eat it with her food or in her food, so I'm trying to like get her to eat it. But she's still just like chilling. She's such a good girl. I think she's still having a hard time from her surgery. Um, but 
It's okay. So I have my heater on because she loves it warm in here, but I love having my windows open. So when I have my windows open, it's like way too cold in here, so I turn the heater on. Anyways, I just made some avocado toast, and I put it on this like grain bread from Trader Joe's. It's really good. I'll show you guys that later. I have hot lemon water, and I have a smoothie. I've been making my smoothies with literally like, this is 50% just spinach and water and oat milk, and then a little bit of fruit and like almonds and stuff. So I'm going to eat this really quick because I haven't ate yet today. And yeah, that's that. I need to make my bed. I did all my sheets. So all my clean stuff is down there on that chair. I need to like do my whole bed. And then I have a bunch of, let me flip this, do my whole bed and eat really quick. Then I have a bunch of like work I have to do and just like computer stuff. That's really important to get done. So I need to get, the, get that done pretty fast. It's one o'clock. Literally these days like... Not that the morning I feel like flies by because I'm just like so slow in the morning because I don't really have anywhere to go or be, obviously. So, yeah. Okay. I'm going to eat really quick. Probably watch a few YouTube videos while I chill and then get my room together, get it all situated how I like it so I can just work from my bed today. I feel like that just sounds like a nice Friday work day. So, that's the plan. <laughs> While I make my bed, just waiting on the duvet cover, and we will be good to go. I love having a fresh, clean bed. You like it? Yeah. Okay guys, hello. It's been a couple hours now. I've literally still just been cleaning this entire time. Um, I do really have to get some stuff done on my computer, so I'm hoping to do that soon. I'm just someone where like my environment, the space around me really, what's the word? It like the space around me really makes me act a certain way and like motivates me and stuff. So if I don't have like my room perfectly set up nice and done it's really really hard for me to focus and actually work for like a long period of time and just with Kyle being here and Kitty coming in I just have stuff that like doesn't have a home and I've told you guys I've been painting a lot so I have just like a lot of supplies in my room and different things that don't have a home yet um so I wanted to like show you a little bit of that so I have these bins on here. I'm watching Remy. <laughs> I actually don't really watch her that often, but with her like new house and stuff, I love watching her do like all her cleaning and just like a bunch of stuff at home. She just like motivates me. And I like that her videos are quite long, so I don't have to like keep changing it. Um, I like to save like my special videos and shorter ones for like nighttime when I'm actually like sitting and watching. This is more for like background noise. Anyways, I have these bins and I'm trying to like sort all my stuff in here. So this one I'm actually going to put all my camera equipment because right now I have all my camera equipment like back in here and it's just like really annoying to have open my closet every time and get back in here, especially because I use this little area for like dirty clothes and stuff. So one basket we're going to do camera stuff. There's Kitty still sleeping. Um, this basket is like a bunch of packages and PR and paperwork stuff I have to film with or just like free PR stuff that I have to organize and go through like the new in things so that stuff is easy because I hate having like mail and junk everywhere this one is a bunch of bikinis which I'm filming a bikini haul soon it's just been kind of like delayed with everything that's going on and just like haven't really felt the best to be filming a bikini video but these are all in here for when that time comes. So I just put them in there because it was easy. This will probably, though, 
continually be like a PR box too, just more for clothes. Like when I work with Boo or Nasty Gal or any other big company, Princess Polly, I have so many clothes and I like to keep them separate from my closet like before I film them. So this is more like little goodie PR stuff. This is gonna be like clothing PR stuff. And then this basket, I made my pink basket because I've really acquired quite a few paints within the quarantine time. And I have like mini canvases. I also have some larger canvases in my closet, which you guys saw. So if those fit in the basket nicely, I'll try and get them in there. If not, they're gonna like stay in my closet for obvious reasons. And then we're gonna do the camera equipment one. So I'm like going through my like deep, deep going through everything. This is all my stuff from like my work bag. I just sanitized my laptop and a bunch of stuff, random mail, chargers. Um, I just went through like my nightstand drawer because a lot of junk gets caught in there. So that's what's going on. I'm drinking more hot lemon water and I put some apple cider vinegar in this one to just kind of like kickstart my body and get on that grind. I also have some coffee, but honestly I started drinking it and just like not really in the mood for it. So that's what's going on. I'm going to keep cleaning. I don't even know what time it is. I think it has may have only been like an hour. My hair dried really weird too because I just let it air dry and it was like up in a pony while I was cleaning. Morning kitty. Morning. Hello. Come on. Uh oh. Come on. Come inside. She's okay. Kitty, get back. Get back, kitty. Get back. She's not here to hurt you. She's not gonna touch you. Okay? Okay. I wanted to vlog again today because I did really want to vlog while I was painting my wall. So I explained it in that one, which that video will be on my channel by the time this is up. So you guys can watch that past vlog if you haven't seen it. But I've been wanting to do like a cool design on my wall. Oh, Mr. Kate, if you guys don't watch Mr. Kate and you don't know who they are, I'm sure you do. Um, you should watch them if you really like home decor. Their videos are incredible. Like I wait and wait for them to post a video because they don't post like a ton because their videos are literally like full production. HGTV shows um, but anyways they did like a splatter wall in Tati Westbrook's beauty room and they basically like made that black and white spotted print but just with paint instead of doing it with the wallpaper because that stick and wallpaper can get like super expensive um, so I'm basically doing that but I'm doing mine a much much easier way like I already started oh my god you guys my mic has been flipped this entire time let me flip it back, but I am not re-filming all that because I feel like I just told you guys so much in like a minute. Um, okay. Okay, yeah, so I, I don't even remember what I was saying. I started the wall randomly one day because I just wanted to do it really bad and then I stopped myself because I was like, you know what, I wanted to film this and I just like wasn't in the mood to film at that point. So I was like, I'm going to stop painting and wait until the day I vlog to vlog it. Um, but I'm taking the easy way out and not doing it like super precise or anything and I actually like the look of it better plus I'm not like any magnificent artist so I didn't want to have to like stress myself with screwing up so this is a great DIY if you guys want to do it um, it's really really easy I'm actually just using acrylic paints that I use like on my canvases so this is the color I'm using it's apple barrel in the shade pavement and it's pretty much just like a dark dark gray um, my walls are a light gray and then this is like a dark gray I didn't want to do like stark black I just didn't want it to be too harsh so I decided to choose a gray I have this just like cheapo I don't even know I just have this we had this in our basement with like a pack of brushes but I just liked the whip and the bristles on this so I'm literally dipping it in the paint and just making streaks you can see like some of the ends of them are a little bit more rough 
with the brush stroke and I really like that. So it's kind of like a patterned leopard look and I'm gonna do this entire wall behind my TV and everything. So once I get there, I'll have to like move this out of the way. It's Wednesday. I basically just decided to do this because I've been having a really hard day with getting focused on work. Um, I actually kind of went on a little rant on my Instagram story. So if you don't follow me, you should. I was basically just saying like I have so much on my mind and to do in such a long to-do list and I keep adding more to that to-do list just because we're in quarantine and I'm trying to push myself as hard as I can because we literally wake up and are at home all day so I have time to do all these things. It's just I create such a long list for myself on top of like the list that's already normally going of different tasks and it's so hard to put your mental and physical self in that position to do each task. I feel like this is so not unrelatable but it's it's just not as re relatable for someone who has a normal nine to five or maybe someone who has school but if you're trying to work on multiple things I think you understand it's so hard trying to divide your time and for me with being online as my full-time job and like YouTube and Instagram there's so many different parts like just managing the merch by myself is an entire job on its own and that is literally such a small percentage of my entire job so to like put that in perspective and like doing emails and admin work is such a different mindset and skill set I need and then when I'm filming videos and have to be front camera and on camera so it's really really hard for me to divide my days because I feel like I'm jumping from a couple emails here then I film a video then I end up doing a little bit of merch stuff and then I don't end up finishing the merch stuff so it never actually got organized and then doing this and doing that and I push this off to the next day and like I hope you guys understand what I'm saying and that's kind of like the day I'm having right now it's not always this feeling but there are days where I just feel like my to-do list is so long I just don't know where to start so that was just a full-on rant of why I feel that way um and when I do feel that way I like to do things like I'm doing now just take a big step back do something that you've been wanting to do that just like calms you down, relaxes you, has nothing to do with what you're stressing out about. So that is painting my wall. I'll feel productive. I do want to get it done. I want to film this for you guys. Um, and I can just take a deep breath. And then once this is done, I'll be so happy about it that I can actually hopefully get some of the other things on my to-do list done, which I have been like all day. It's just not feeling organized and sticking to one task. So yeah, I get like very, I get off track a lot and I think that's part of my problem. I probably should go to the doctor and like get diagnosed with something but not right now. Okay I'm gonna start painting and I'll just like time lapse this for you guys. I feel like there's not much more to show you. Girly, are both my babies in here? Both my babies are in my room. Are you serious? Oh you didn't have to get up. Oh, I shouldn't have bothered you. I'm sorry. Roxy girl. What are you doing in here? You're hanging out too? You girly. Oh my god. They're so funny together. Hi little baby. I started bawling. And like I was so emotional and just so grateful that um somebody that I had a lot of respect from, somebody that I was so excited to learn from going into the show. Felt like he learned from me and was like proud of me by the end of it. That made me really, really emotional and happy. I'm seeing so many comments about the merch as well, the things that I'm wearing right now. I did my marks a little bit different than Tati's. These are definitely like bigger and just literally the same paint stroke up and down just because I wanted it to be as easy as possible. But I think Mr. Kate, when she did Tati, she did like different directions and a little bit different sizes and just made like 
more of a variety, but I just kept mine very simple. And it's still, I'm sorry, Olive is playing with her little bunny tail fuzzy. She goes crazy. <laughs> um, and you can see when I started over here, if you see like the section that I started with like last week, compared to this, this all looks more even, that looks a little less even. So if you're going to do this, I would recommend trying to get it all done within like one session because like obviously I was feeling a little bit different that day than today as far as like how the spots go. So I'm actually going to go over those and try and match them up a little bit better with these. Um, but I think what I was saying is even though it's like the polka dot feel because it has like the dry brush stroke texture in some of them. Um, you can see when I zoom in a little bit more. It gives more of that like cheetah texture and I really like it. I think it looks really good with the plants. Obviously this is like a very nice aesthetic together and then I have the mirror there and I think like the gold goes well with it too because I just wanted more something more interesting in my room but I really didn't have any more room on my walls to hang stuff because every wall is pretty much full of things like I couldn't hang any more pictures or anything so literally my only choice was to do something interesting on this wall and I think it looks really good. So I'm going to touch up that little corner and then move all the furniture back to see the finished look. I want that area to like dry a little bit before I move the plant, but it does dry pretty fast. And I'm literally all out of my little paint bottle. So it took about a little less than the full bottle because I have used that for like other paintings I've done, but it's literally empty. I had to pour it out and that's all I have left. So it is the next day sorry never ended up finishing the vlog yesterday or like saying anything um, my camera died and I finished off the wall and then I pretty much like got in bed and went to bed or I made dinner and all that stuff I just wasn't filming I don't know why um, but here we are the next day I have been cleaning up my room doing a bunch of merch stuff this morning like boxes and just like prepping stuff like that it's kind of like just busy work um, and now I want to make some banana bread because I haven't ate anything yet today and it's like the afternoon. Um, but I, I've been making banana bread a lot over this quarantine, just like everyone. Um, I've already make, made two loaves, I think, and I normally do it with walnuts and chocolate chips. But I've really, really been wanting just to make straight banana bread. Remy did it on her channel. I've been watching her so much lately. I feel like I've talked about her in every, every clip or like every vlog just because... I don't know, I just feel like I have a similar taste to her as far as like foods and things. So whenever she's cooking, I like want to do exactly what she's doing. Um, besides the point, I want to make just straight up banana bread because that's what she did and have like no chocolate chips or walnuts in it or, or anything and just make it super like the texture really good. And then I'm going to put Nutella on top of it or like maybe single serve if like people want to put it on there, they can put it on there themselves. Um... Yeah, I was just in the mood to do that. I would never go without any chocolate, so that's why I'm going to do the Nutella on top, but yeah. Okay, I did want to show you the finished wall, though. I never showed it to you guys yesterday. So, this is the final result. I think it looks so good with the, like, plant, too, with it, and it just kind of goes together. This tree is way too big, you guys. We got it from Costco, and it's just getting bigger and bigger, and I really don't have any other space for it in my room so I know it's like smushed in the corner. I need a little bit of a smaller one because yeah but I mean it's still thriving and it's living and we are good so love it. I also rearranged my shelves a little bit um just because they were starting to get a little messy so these gray bins are from Target and I actually had these two little white ones are from Target too and I had them in between these and it just looked too cluttery so I wanted the first two shelves just to be these to be clean and then down here i have my trash these two little bins and my heater which i normally just put on the fan setting at night because i like like that noise that it gives off um but these two little things these are like random 
room things like my lighter for my candles a pair of scissors a lint roller like random little thingies and then this is olive's little bin with a bunch of her crap in it so i like to keep this stuff at the bottom just because it's not as pretty to look at um eventually i should just get two more of these bins because i think it looks really clean and these bins are literally amazing they're so structured the color is perfect and i organize a ton of stuff in there so Roxy's in here again today. She's been hanging out with me a little bit more. So yeah, that's the room update. Um, but let's go make the banana bread. I'm really, really excited about it. Also guys, if I sound kind of like nasally and gross, it's just my allergies are so bad. And just some days are worse than others. I'm actually allergic to pet fur. So I'm allergic to olive and I'm allergic to our dogs. And guys, I literally haven't even taken my pajamas off for the day yet. I have my pajama shorts on and like a shirt underneath. I threw this sweatshirt over it because um, I was kind of cold. But this is pretty much what my days look like in quarantine. Even when I'm working and doing stuff, like there's literally no point to change. And of course, I have my days like when I'm filming and stuff. And some days I feel like getting ready to do my makeup and put clothes on. And I've talked about that, that it helps you feel a little bit better. But some days, this little outfit is completely fine with me for the entire day. So that's what we're doing. Okay, guys, we have all this stuff out. I am following this recipe that I follow on Pinterest. I'll link it down below. Um, but I actually, like, kind of do my own thing. I just use it as more of, like, a guideline. But if you guys want, like, a full recipe with measurements and stuff, you could just follow this one. I just add a few things. Um, so I have my mashed up bananas. These are three and a half bananas about, and they were really brown, like super old. So that's the best. You definitely want to use very ripe bananas. Um, we have a stick of butter, which there might be, I think we have to melt this. And then we have an egg. We have vanilla, which is an added thing that I like. And then we have the baking soda, salt, cinnamon, light brown sugar, which is also an added thing that I add only to mine. And then some vanilla um almond milk i don't know if we need the milk or not like you guys literally every time i do this i do it a little bit different and i'm trying to like perfect what i like but most recipes don't have brown sugar or vanilla and these are my two like musts in my banana bread plus all the other stuff oh and we need flour which is right here so i'm gonna get to making and yeah i'll link this all down below once i officially have measurements for stuff um I can make my own recipes. I really want to start working on that more because I cook so much and I want to have kind of like a recipes website or like a blog where I just put all my food stuff. So let me know if you guys want that from me. I like cook all the time and I don't really show myself cooking all that often, but I do like daily and I do a lot of stuff from scratch, like the full thing. So... guys the bread is in the oven i used a little bit bigger of a pan this time i don't know why i just felt like i wanted to do that and then i sprinkled some cinnamon on top this is at 350 this actually takes quite a while to bake so probably about 30 minutes and i'll come and check on it and then we will go from there and coming from me again, I never showed the end result of the banana bread, but holy shit, it was incredible. Um, if you guys want me to film a whole video on that or just show it again in like another vlog, I will because I've been making it weekly. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, enjoyed watching me paint, enjoyed watching me cook. Um, if there's anything specific you guys want me to expand on then let me know but thank you guys so much for watching if you're not subscribed you should and you should also follow me on instagram and tiktok at emily Jean beauty and i will see you guys very very soon bye